Hello, our dear viewers and listeners. Welcome to our Te Radio Escuela Tarana, the School in the Air program of DepEd Tagum City. We would like to thank our radio partner, Hope Radio 107.1 DXHS, where we are airing episodes for junior high school. Thank you for your generosity. I am your teacher host, Mom Teresa May S. Bermudez. Today, you will be learning about a lesson in Grade 7, Science Quarter 2, Module 6. Come and join us as we continue our scientific adventure. So get your modules, your notebooks, and your writing pen, and be comfortably seated in your respective homes. To give us the information about this topic, let me give you our teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Mary Grace M. Cabernay. Thank you, Ma'am Teresa May. Hello, viewers and listeners. We are very glad because despite the pandemic, we can continue learning through our Tele Radio Escuela. This effort of DepEd is a way to cope up with its goal of providing the quality education you deserve. For today's episode, here are our learning objectives. Toward the end of our episode, you will be able to differentiate biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem. Describe the different ecological relationships found in an ecosystem and give examples of ecological relationships. Previously, you have learned about the types of reproduction. So, let us continue understanding the different interactions in our ecosystem. Kindly open your module and turn to page 4. Look for this latest study portion. Let us see whether you have an advanced knowledge of this concept. Write your answers in your notebook. Let us begin. The direction is to rearrange the jumbled letters inside the box. Rearrange the words in set A and set B. Great job! The answers in set A are carabao, narrat tree, and bamboo. For set B, the answers are light, soil, and temperature. What have you observed in the words formed in set A and set B? Do they have similarities? Very good! The answers in set A are the living organisms of our ecosystem. Well, the answer in set B are the non-living factors. They interact with each other in order to balance our ecosystem. Great remembering! You have recalled well your lessons in elementary days. Now, let us discuss what comprises an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a geographic area where plants animals and other organisms as well as water and landscape work together to form a bubble of life. It includes all living and non-living organisms of a certain environment. Biotic factors are the living parts of an ecosystem, such as plants and animals. Abiotic factors are the non-living parts of the physical environment that influence biotic factors such as water, air, rock, and sunlight. What is ecological relationship? Ecological relationships describe the interaction between and among organisms within their environment. What are the five common ecological relationships? One is competition. Competition is the interaction between organisms or species in which both requires a source that is limited supply such as food, water, or territory. Examples for this include hyenas and lions, covering the same ground, hunting the same prey, and scavenging the same remains of animals. Another mechanism in which species interact with each other is predation. It is when a predator organism feeds on another living organism, known as prey. An example is when a snake, the predator, kills and swallow its victim, rat, the prey, whole. Mutualism is another kind of relationship. It describes the ecological interaction 
between two or more species, where each species benefits from each other, such as clownfish and sea anemone, helping each other survive in the ocean. The clownfish, while being provided with food, cleans away fish and algae leftovers from the anemone. Commensalism, an association between two organisms in which one organism benefits while the other organism neither benefits nor harm. Examples are orchids and trees, or remora and sharks. The last type of ecological relationship is parasitism. This is a close relationship between species, where one organism, the parasite, live on or inside another organism, the host, causing it some harm and is adapted structurally to this way of life. An example is fleas, the parasites, harming dogs, the host, by biting their skin and sucking their blood. The fleas gets food and a warm home, while the dog gets an itch. Now that you have learned about the various types of ecological relationships, let us now take a look the various factors of an ecosystem, more specifically biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are those organisms comprising an ecosystem. Here are the examples of biotic factors in a terrestrial ecosystem. We have grass, trees, snake, moss, bacteria, and human. Meanwhile, abiotic factors are those physical or chemical components of the ecosystem. Some of the abiotic factors are sunlight, nutrients, rocks, river, soil, and wind. Let us proceed to Activity 5 of page 11. Kindly open your module and let us answer the Know Your Mate. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food. Prey is an animal that is hunted and eaten for food. Identify the predator and prey for its scenario. A snapping turtle in a pond eats a small perch, which is the prey and the predator. The one who hunts for food is a turtle, and the perch is the prey for it is the one who is eaten. Good job! Another one. A shrew is eaten by a barn owl. Which one is the predator and which is the prey? Correct! The predator is the owl who eats the prey, which is the shrew. Identify the predator and prey in this scenario. A seagull lands near an alligator and the alligator eats it. That's right! The predator is the alligator who ate the prey, which is the seagull. Superb! Okay, let's proceed to our next activity to enhance your knowledge more. Kindly open your module on page 13. Let us assess. Let's identify what ecological relationship is shown in its situation. Just write the ecological relationship of its scenario. Write predation, commensalism, competition, parasitism, and mutualism. Let's start. Ladybug crawls up to Apid and eats them. Next, two mule deer lock antlers as they demonstrate strength and worthiness to a female mule deer. The winner of this battle will mate with the female. What relationship is shown in this scenario? Polar bears wander the ice looking for signs of seals. Once they find a seal, they will attack and eat it. The last one, cleaner fish feed on parasites in a shark's mouth and gills. This benefits the cleaner fish because they get a meal. This benefits the shark because it gets rid of parasites. And the answer are, number one, parasitism, for the ladybug is a parasite of the aphids. Number two, competition, the male deers compete with each other for the female mule deer. Number three, predation. Polar bears are the predator of the seals who are the prey. 
And the last one, number four, mutualism. The cleaner fish cleans the shark and helps them get rid of their parasites, while the shark gives food for the cleaner fish. That is amazing, students. Wow, that was fun. Now, let us wrap up and recall what we have discussed. An ecosystem is composed of living organisms also called biotic factors and non-living organisms also called abiotic factors. These components rely on one another to gain the energy needed to sustain life. Ecological relationships describe the interaction between and among the organisms within the environment. These relationships help in maintaining the natural flow of the ecosystem. Good job there viewers and listeners. I hope you learned from our discussion for today and may these learnings help you in your everyday life. I'm so happy that I was able to share some significant learnings with you. See you next time. Goodbye. That was an insightful discussion, Ma Mary Grace. Thank you so much for joining us and leading this session. And for our listeners, the students, thank you for tuning in. And we do hope that you have learned something today. For you to understand our topic further, you may do the exercises provided in your modules. You may also have an advanced study of your topics to prepare yourself for your next lessons. Stay tuned for more Hashtag Scientific Adventures. Please make sure to be with us next session. Keep safe everyone and have a great day ahead. Sa mga aral naming hatid Sa ang sumulong ka man kapatid Aabutin ka ng aming tinig Walang araw na sasayangin Edukasyon ipagpatuloy natin Ano mang pagsubok at mga balakid Kaalaman